You, Leslie. Also tonight, Oklahoma Muslims increased security at worship services as they celebrate their biggest holiday of the year. Death threats targeted at Muslims here in Oklahoma after an unrelated killing in Moore late last month. Most of the calls and emails refer to Alton Nolan, the man arrested for beheading an employee at Bond Food. Before's Andrew Donnelly joins us now live from the newsroom with more. And Andrew, you observed the celebration today, and I hear there was an unexpected appearance. That's right, Sarah. Today, an official from Washington, D.C. praised the Oklahoma Muslim community. They say that praise was reassuring after all the threats they've received. They try to look at us with suspicion. They try to look at us with bigotry. The claims of Saturday's Islamic prayer service leader are mirrored by vicious Islamophobic voicemails recently sent to leaders of the faith. That woman did nothing to that guy. Did nothing to him. And you hide like cowards. I'm buying a Quran. I'm going to publicly on your no good religion. Saeed Muhammad with CARE or the Council on American Islamic Relations says the message is referring to the beheading in Moore, Oklahoma just weeks ago. A violent act that the FBI says had nothing to do with the Muslim faith. But Muhammad says the vicious voicemails keep pouring in. We don't want anyone to come out and make, pro make good to their promises. And with thousands of Oklahoma Muslims celebrating the biggest holiday of their faith Saturday, that was a major concern. We felt it necessary to go out and keep brothers on watch and also to hire police officers. With police canvassing the ground, services went smoothly. And with the guest appearance of David Myers from the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, Cultural integration was reinforced in a message he read from President Barack Obama. Your service is a powerful example of the shared roots of the Abrahamic faiths and how our communities can come together in shared peace with dignity and a sense of justice. As far as the threats go, Islamic leaders say they have contacted the FBI to investigate. Sarah?